once I scanned the computer, I got a P0455. This is a very, very common fault code that I find in a lot of different um, uh, manufacturers, years, makes, and models. And I, I'm pretty much ready to, uh, to get started and inspect, and I, I know what I'm going to be going after for this here. Um, I do want to do a bit of research um, with all data, my shop data program, and see what I can find and see if there's any recalls or see if there's any technical service bulletins that might help me correct this problem as fast as possible. Anytime I get an EVAP code, I like to start with what is accessible and just readily, easily available to get to. And the first thing that I like to check is the, um, the EVAP PERD solenoid. I like to see if I can apply vacuum to the side of the uh, um, uh, solenoid where vacuum will be naturally applied when it's connected to the engine. So right here, right up above the uh, throttle uh, linkage, there's um, this nipple here. So I pulled this hose off and then I'm gonna put my, my Mighty Vac hand vacuum pump on there and I'm going to, uh, to see if it'll hold vacuum. So I've got it connected up here to my uh, gauge here, my hand vacuum pump gauge. And I like to put it above 15 inches of vacuum and just wait about 30 to 45 seconds just to see if it's if it's moving. If it if it if the decay is too much um, and the computer can pick up on this a whole lot better than my gauge. And the computer is the one, the um, the deciding factor as to if the check engine light is going to stay on or if it's going to turn off, meaning if I if I fix it or if I didn't fix it. So this is just a good test to do, just to see if there's anything major that that stands out. And um, just I'm just sitting here watching the gauge here, and uh, if you use one of these, just don't touch that bottom lever there or you'll lose your vacuum and then you got to start over again and start watching all over again so I'm not seeing any decay. I'm, I'm not seeing any leak away here, in other words. It's kind of just holding right there at around uh, 17. So I'm going to call this good. Another thing to be aware of when you're checking um, the integrity of a purge solenoid Look at the hose condition too. This this truck is a good 19 years old, and uh, if you were to have lost vacuum doing this test, you might want to check this hose first. And if this hose gives you any doubt, replace this hose and then do the test again. Or you can take this off here and go right to the solenoid, um, which is good to check the solenoid, but you didn't check the hose either. So by me connecting my vacuum gauge to this hose here where the vacuum is created in the intake and I basically have checked the integrity of the whole hose and the solenoid as well. And then so um, these solenoids, uh, uh, EVAP purge solenoids, stay closed at rest, meaning no power going to them. So, um, but another thing that, you'd, that you would want to check as well is you would want to check the condition of this hose as well to make sure this hose is in good condition. And then the connector here, and then your green EVAP uh, Schrader port valve that you can get to here. And uh, that'll help you diagnose whether you have a leak or not, and if you do have a leak, where the leak is coming from. Uh, another thing you could also try, since these are the same 
these are the same uh, diameter is you could take this hose off here and then you could put it over here and then you could do the same test again to check to see if you still have vacuum and if you don't then you could suspect that this hose is bad so there's there's a lot of various different ways you can test things and, and this would be getting creative to see if you can test this hose as well for the integrity of it and this one here um, you could just inspect it